happy mask monday good morning good morning good morning welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome to the channel my name is renee thank you so much for clicking on the video i appreciate you being here i hope while you're here you'll join the family join nene's glam squad hit that subscribe button turn up that notification bell give the video a thumbs up do that right now it really means a lot to me it helps out my channel lets youtube know you enjoy seeing my content leave a comment say hi let me know that you stopped by do you want to see what mask we're using today because it's my week to pick yay stick around because i'll be right back Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I appreciate you being here. Make sure that you check out the playlist that will be linked down below. See what masks all the other beauty ninjas decided to use this week. You're not gonna wanna miss out. They might use some good ones. I told them just pick whatever mask I've sent them. So could be a lot of different ones, maybe a couple of the same. You'll just have to follow the playlist to find out. I decided that I wanted to do a mask that Gracie Lou and I can't remember, I think maybe uh, Sue used this one as well and we both really liked it. It is the potato mask. So we are going to put potato on my face. Let's read the back a little bit. Let me put my glasses on so I can read. It's really small writing. Wash face and apply toner, which I did. I washed my face and I put on my toner. Remove mask from packet and gently unfold. Place mask on entire face, smoothing to fit curves and adjusting around eyes, nose, and mouth. Remove after 10 to 15 minutes and pat in remaining content to absorb into skin. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's open this up and get it on my face. Let me take my glasses off. All right, here it is. It doesn't have too bad of a scent not a strong scent it doesn't really smell like it doesn't really I don't know I can't put my finger on it. it doesn't smell like anything in particular to me anyway all right guys we got it open that's what she looks like let's get her on the face this is really cool on my face and I haven't been keeping it in the refrigerator either so I got these masks through Avon. Avon had these boxes. I think there's like 10 masks in it and they have all different kinds of ones. They have lemon, they have rice, they have aloe, blueberry, pomegranate. I can't remember all of them, but that's just some of them. This fits really nice. I'm happy with this so far. There is a lot, a lot of serum. So I'm gonna put some on my hands, on my decollege. Is that what they call it? I think that's what they call it. This fits perfectly. But I'm gonna put my mask cover that I got from Beth on anyway to hold it into place. And I thought, hey, Google, set 10 minute timer. Sure, 10 minutes and we're starting now. 10 minutes and we're starting now. All right, let's get this bad boy on. This feels, this this mask cover is like freaking amazing, you guys. Like, I'm just saying, it like really pulls the mask onto your face. I might leave this on a little more than 10 minutes. We'll see how it goes. But I thought we would get into a little palette collection. This is just one drawer. I showed you guys my ColourPop collection. We did a declutter of some of my palettes, which I actually sent uh, five of them for, to my sister. Um, and she just got them the other day and she said they came good, nothing broke. So yay, I packed it good, which is really exciting. So I just grabbed one of my drawers that has some of my palettes and we're gonna go through some of them. I may declutter, I don't know. We will see how it goes when I get to some of them. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with them if I get rid of any, which I need to really get rid of some. I'm just gonna stack these up so I can put them back in the drawer as I go through them. Boy, there's a lot of them, you guys. I don't know if you've seen the video yet. No, you wouldn't have seen the video yet, but I went and I cleaned my room went through a bunch of clothes, 
that video will be going up soon. It's not really in detail, but it's, you'll get the gist of it. Okay, the first palette that I have is Oh What Fun, and this is an Avon palette that I got, I wanna say last Christmas. You open it up, it's got a nice little mirror in here, and then you can slide this out and see all of those colors. I think I just stuck my finger in one of them. I think I have only used this maybe one time. Yeah, because it doesn't even look like it's really been touched too much. And they actually look like mostly shimmers. There's a couple mattes, I think, in there. But they're mainly shimmers. But it's a really beautiful palette. I really like it. This was one of the ones I got like before I started hoarding palettes. So I love Avon. I've always loved Avon. But it's nice to try different brands as well, you know, and branch out and find different things that you like. But Avon does work really well. I have a few of their palettes and I use them and they have a nice formula, I think anyway. The next one we have is Tarte, Tartiest Pro Remix. Where did I get this one? I'm not sure if this is the one that I might have gotten from Makari from Laura Jane Loves Beauty. That's what the palette looks like. And Tarte is a great product. I got a piece of hair on me. And this is what she looks like inside. She's got a nice mirror, really beautiful colors. I think I might have used this a couple times, but it's all shimmers, so you oh maybe there's one mat two mats two mats and the rest are shimmers really beautiful palette though and it smells like chocolate anybody got this do you like it do you love it let me know i want to know i can't remember how much i paid for it either i'm just gonna start putting these back in the drawer um i might declutter the avon then we have the Nomad, and this is Berlin palette. This is a really nice palette. Great formula. I believe I got this, did I get this in a boxy? I might've got this when I was getting boxy. That's what it looks like. Those are the colors inside. It's a really pretty palette. And it's got a nice size mirror as well. Yeah. I really need to start using some of the mirrors that are actually in the palettes that I use. I think I've only used this once. I really should keep it and use it again. This would be really good for like fall, Halloween type looks. This will be a really hard decision, you guys, but I do, I really need to declutter. I, I need to get rid of some stuff because I, I have too much. I have, I'm a hoarder, I'm a hoarder. I admit it, I have a problem. But the first step is admitting that you have a problem. And I did go through and get rid of a bunch of clothes and a bunch of shoes. So we're on the right path, you guys. We have another Avon palette. You open it up it's got a nice mirror and this is kind of the same concept as the other one you slide it open and you've got all these colors this one i believe is all shimmers yeah this one is all shimmers the other one had a couple mattes in it and i think i might have used this once or twice but not a lot so i don't know i might declutter that as well I'm thinking I need to find like a women's shelter or something like that where I can uh, maybe donate some gently used makeup. The next we have is a Peachy Queen palette and I just really liked this Spirit Board palette. I think I might have ordered this one. Did I order this one? Or I might have got it in PR. But I thought it was super cool. It's a really neat palette. It's been a long time, so I can't really remember. I think I've used this once, but those are the colors. It does have a mirror. What do you guys think? Maybe I used it twice. It doesn't look like it's been dug into that much. I really need to get some more use out of these palettes. And then the next one I have is Lunar Beauty. And this is the Moonspell palette. And I believe I got this from Becca. Isn't it cute? I always wanted this palette. Ever since I saw Allie Dawson do a video on it, cause she did the coolest freaking video. Like she looked like um, a witch and she was like brewing. So it was just a really cool video. If you guys have a chance, you should check it out. But this is what it looks like inside. And it's got a mirror. I, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. 
definitely gonna keep this one because I really, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's really cool. It's like a little book, like a book of shadows. Book of shadows, put it back in its case. I try to keep all my palettes in their cases. And then we have another Lunar Beauty palette, Strawberry, Strawberry Dream, really cool packaging. I love Manny, I really do. I try to watch all of his videos. It's a little bit broken on this shade right here, but it's not too difficult to repress stuff like that, which I've done before. Nice size mirror. These are really pretty colors. I got this with the moon spell from Becca because she was selling her makeup, so I bought this. I need to get in. I'm not getting rid of any Lunar Beauty. I can't. I just can't do it because I love Manny too much. I even have his brushes as well. The next we have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. This I did get in a PR box. Isn't it nice? Definitely got to keep this one too. And it smells like chocolate. Nice mirror. Those are the colors. If you guys see a palette that you want to see me do a look on, let me know. I know I've gotten some requests. I did a couple. Um, I did use the uh, Cherry Cherry Crush palette. I did a look with that. I did a collab with Flawed and Fabulous. If you guys haven't seen that, you should go check it out. Then we have another Tarte palette, High Performance Naturals Tartiest Pro. Let's take this one out. That's what the palette looks like. And then we'll look at the colors. Nice size mirror in there. I think this one would go really good with the other one. So I'm definitely gonna keep these two and I just need to, to figure out when I can use them and start doing a look with it. it. Smells like chocolate. What do you guys think? I need to use this one and the other one because the colors would probably go really well together since it's like the same brand, you know what I mean? Then the next thing we got, I got this in a PR box. This is Tarte as well, because Stephanie knows that I travel a lot. And so she sent me this because it would be great for traveling. It comes with a brush and liner. And what is this? Maybe a mascara. And there's a double-ended brush in here. You got the packing brush and then a blending brush on the other side. I think I used this once. Really pretty colors. This one I'm definitely, definitely. This one doesn't really smell like chocolate. I think I'll take this on my next vacation. But it's super cool packaging. Oh, my timer went off. I haven't even gotten halfway through. Google, stop. All right, next we have She's a Natural Day and Night Face Palette. I got this in a Busy Beauty Store PR box. If you guys don't know who she is, you should definitely go check her out on IG. Busy Beauty Store on IG. It's free to follow her. And she has some amazing products, you guys. She's even got the new Jeffrey, um, what is it? Frick, I can't even think of the name of it, but the little palette. So if you're interested in Jeffree Star, you should hit her up. Look at that. I need to use this palette. I don't think I've used this one. Day and Night Face Palette. I don't know why this is in with my eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna have to sit this over here and put it in with my face palettes. Then we have Riviera Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's what the box looks like. I've used this a couple times. I love this palette. It has a little double-sided brush in here. That's what the colors look like. And the mirror. This is gonna take a little, oh, I don't know guys, I just don't know. And then we have another Tarte palette. This one does smell like chocolate. And that's what the colors look like. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I got this one at. I don't know if I got it in a PR box. My memory just isn't what it used to be. Then we've got this Daydreams and Night Thinker. I believe I got this from Flawed and Fabulous. It's a Cara Beauty palette. And it opens like that. Mirrors on both sides. 
and those are the colors. Aren't they beautiful? I need to really get into this stuff, you guys. I'm just a slacker. I'm really, I have used this a couple times, I believe. It's just been a while. Then we got Rock Chick Volume 1. This I got, I think, in my very first Busy Beauty Star PR box. It fits me because when I was growing up in high school, I was an 80s rocker chick, just saying. This is what the palette looks like. Isn't that cool? It just gives me, it gives me 80s vibes for reals. Got a nice size mirror. I think I used this once. That's what the colors look like. I think I need to do what Michelle does and get like a, like all the palettes that I keep, put them in a palette, like a wheel and have the wheel pick the palettes that I use or do like what Glam Goat does and she does the changing of the palettes every month and you know picks out a certain amount I think she does like maybe three palettes three or four palettes and she uses those palettes in the month you know what I mean and then I could get some use but I this this I love I love this palette that one definitely is not going anywhere okay that's all the ones that was over there then we have this Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette this one is a really nice palette I think I got this I want to say in a ipsy bag nice mirror and those are the colors definite fall vibes going on here definitely should get use out of this coming up soon with you know fall and halloween and everything i could do some really great looks with that i'm sure then we've got tropical babe by peachy queen this is what palette looks like this is like gives you tropical vibes obviously just want to be on a beach sipping a mai tai nice size mirror those are the colors I think this is more like spring colors really but I guess it could be fall colors as well I think I've used this once or twice maybe definitely once next we have this little violet Voss palette did I get this one in a PR box and this kind of feels it almost gives you like suede vibes open it up I've used this one a couple times really pretty fall color season as well I really like this palette I think I don't I just don't know what I'm gonna do guys but I just have too much makeup I really do and then we have a, another violet boss this is berry burst this might have come in a PR box as well it took me a minute to get it out this is what the palette looks like and then you open it up there's a mirror inside. I've used this one like three or four times. Really pretty. Really pretty. I love it. Do you guys have any of these palettes? Which ones are your favorites? We do have a giveaway going on right now. It's the Christmas in July giveaway. You guys need to go check out those videos from the playlist. Check out my video. If you enter my giveaway, you got to be subscribed publicly to the channel and also subscribe publicly to Teresa's channel which is my Christmas in July buddy this is Ofra palette I got this in a busy beauty store PR box isn't it beautiful oh this middle shade right here look at that oh my gosh I might have to use this one tomorrow I don't know I don't know oh so many choices and I only have two eyes. What to do, what to do. We gotta hurry up and get through this. Then we got Exotic Peacock. I got this in a busy beauty store PR box. It's got a mirror. This is giving me football season vibes right here for when football season starts in just, well, maybe just a couple weeks because it's August 1st, so happy August. Then we have the Tiffany's by Peachy Queen. This one ain't going nowhere. I ordered this one from Peachy Queen as soon as I saw it because it's got a nice little mirror. I love Tiffany Blue and I, I had to get this palette and it is beautiful. I did, a, I have a TikTok using, I did a look using this and I did a, mm, it, it was stunning, stunning, stunning. All right, we've got just a few more. All right, we've got the Orange Pop from Cara Beauty. 
Girl Scout from Cara Beauty and Purple Haze from Cara Beauty. These came in a set and I saw them, I think Anya used them. So this is the Girl Scout, super pretty, super pretty. I'm not gonna put them back until I'm done. Then the Purple Haze, really beautiful. I love Cara Beauty. They perform really well. And then we've got the Orange Pop, beautiful colors as well. These palettes all work really well. And then we got another Cara Beauty. I believe I got this one from Flawed and Fabulous as well as that other one that opens like this. It just opens like that, mirrors on both sides. And these are the colors. Beautiful. Nice little shade protector. Put that over there. And then we have the Moods palette. I actually did a giveaway with one like this because I got this, I want to say, did it come in Ipsy? I can't remember, but that's what it looks like. And then I ended up with another one that I got in a PR box. So I did a giveaway. I can't remember who won that one. And then this is Laura Geller. The weekender and I got this in a busy beauty store PR box when I was getting ready to go on vacation and so she made me a box that was like travel friendly so it comes with three palettes there's one this is I wish every day was Saturday then this one is flirty Friday so you just take this and you're you're good and this is no Sunday's no Sunday scaries here. That one's pretty too. I've used these a few times. I took them on vacation with me and I love them. So that's all these palettes. Not sure what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna declutter. I'm gonna have to go through it again, but let's take this mask off because I've kept you guys long enough and I'm sorry. This is still super wet. I'll probably put it back in Wow, my face is so... I like it though. It felt really good on my face for sure. It fit really well. Like it just sucks to your face. You know what I mean? And then you put the mask cover on and it even holds it even more. So you know all that goodness is getting into your skin. But anyway, you guys, it's been like almost 30 minutes. I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you think of my palette collection. What should I keep? What do you think I should declutter? I just don't know. It's a hard decision. But I hope you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day that you're watching this. I love you all. Stay safe. Take care. I hope I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you go check out all the other beauty ninjas. Like I said, the playlist is linked down below. Go check them out. See what masks they decided to use this week. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.